Hi everyone, today let's take a look on Pixel, one of the best alternative for Figma right now. We have real-time collaboration, we have components with uh, variants, automatic layouts, and of course we can create interactive prototype, Pixel cross-browser application, and it means that we can share our project with links. We can export our project from Sketch, Adobe XD and Figma and of course we have some resources from community. And how much does it cost? Nothing. Pixel is free for lifetime and we will have unlimited personal files and unlimited draft editors. Free for lifetime. How get started? Just sign up. We can create account with email and password or if you use Google account just select your Google account and voila we can start our first project. If you use Figma you will not have any discomfort with switching between Figma and Pixel. Uh, let's create new design document and in bottom menu we can create first artboard. On left side we have a layer panel, component with search and resource from community. At the top we have toolbar, on right side we have plugin and share window. We can select permissions that everyone can view or edit, copy link and send to client for example. And on right panel when we create layer we have settings for this layer. Also we have handoff tab with developer mode and prototype tab. In Pixel we have same keyboard shortcuts for our tools uh, as in Figma and this is really helpful. When we select layer we can add effects, a stroke as in Figma. Uh, we can add fill and select gradient with icons without drop down menus and we can reverse it and rotate. Uh, auto layout in Pixel works same as in Figma. Let's create auto layout for this box. Let's change uh, color. And in right panel we can change vertical padding, horizontal padding and uh, change right in artboard as in Figma. Okay, of course we can create uh, components with different variants. Let's create component for this box. Let's add variant. Let's change color. Green. And when we place this component in artboard, we, in right panel we can select what we need. Okay, and you know if we can create everything in Figma, uh, let's find out how we can import our project from Figma to Pixel. I prepare a simple project for test. Uh, it's uh, one page with text, some image, a couple layers with blur effect, and uh, I have component with a couple of variants, different colors, that use auto layout inside. And let's test how this project I can add in Pixel. I have two options, I am select Figma and I can add file from Figma or add link for this project. Let's add file. Go back to Figma and in left panel file save local copy. Save this copy and go back to Pixel. Select my project and just wait. It may take a long, a long time. Um, complete. Okay. <laughs> now we have project and Let's try another version. In Figma, let's click Share Project. Anyone with the link K 
can view. Copy this link. And in Pixar, let's place link and press on button. Now, just wait. It may take a long time to import the first file. <laughs> okay. Waiting. Hmm. If we can, if we add Figma file, it, it, you know, quicker. But with links, with, with links, maybe longer to times. Okay, complete. Now let's go and let's see what we have. Okay, we have problem with font and in Pixar we can change font, but we have official fonts, local, we can add our local from our computer, but we need to install assistant program. Then we have team fonts and personal font. Uh, where we can just add one file for this font. I select import font and just try to find my font on computer. It's space mono. Let's find, let's add this file. Okay, import. And now we can use this font in project. It's already replaced and works. Works good. Yeah, okay. What we have in project? We have these layers. Text layers with same blur. We have component. And we have auto layout. Auto layout. Okay, what about these components. It works. Let's change color. Cool. And what about auto layout? Yeah, it's working. Now everything everything works. Cool. And yes, we can change auto layout from file that we import from Figma. Really cool. Okay, in Pixar we have all functions that have Figma and let's see what I found interesting for me. First of all, in left panel we can add pages like in Figma, but we can also add folder. We can add folder and our pages move to this folder. It's really cool, you know. <laughs> when we don't need our folder, just cancel folder. That's all. Cool. Okay, in top toolbar we have frame, slice, shape, pen and we have connector. Connector it's, you know, for example, if you want to create some user flow, I'll just show uh, where you go from this screen to another. Just select this tool and connect all these arbors between each other. And you can, you know, n name it. And change size for these titles. It's, you know, really helpful if you want to show uh, to other people how it works, how you know your application work, etc. And when we, of course, when we move these artboards, all these lines, you know, goes in the right way. Cool. Let's go next. Okay, we have pen tool, and pen tool works, uh, you know. Cool, like in, you know, in other programs, other applications like Figma or Photoshop, we can add couple lines like this, and you know we have in top panel we have paint bucket. We can add colors to these areas, and when we in edit mode, we can you know move these areas, 
and shape <laughs> nope move in in the right way when we hold alt we can drag this point and this will be copy all lines <laughs> maybe like this I, I know it it's really fun <laughs> now for example we have this shape and when we select in top panel we have morph tool morph tool it's like a free transform in photoshop we can easily you know skew and transform this shape in different directions and when we go to edit mode we again can you know edit all these lines I don't know where I can use it but it looks interesting and one last thing for example if we have image we can select layer and in right panel we have export we can select export for iOS Android and web for example let's select web we have different sizes and we can uh, click compressed image and select quality for this image now it's it's really helpful and that's all what I want to show you I hope you like this tool pixel is a really good alternative for Figma right now and I think you need to check it out links will be in description have a nice day and see you next time and maybe in pixel.